What's up, guys? Um, so today is a different video on the channel. I haven't done a video like this in a while, but I, I just feel like it's time for me to break my silence about about Modern Warfare and about this game, and especially after season one. It's, this is gonna be like more about like the maps in the game and about the camping than about the battle pass and about season one. If you guys want me to do a separate video on season one, I can do that. Just let me know down in the comments. If you guys want me to do a new video on season one and my thoughts on it, I can do that. But this is gonna be mainly about the camping and about the maps and uh, stuff like that. This is just gonna be like me kind of throwing my, you know, I guess throwing my, um, my opinion and I guess my thoughts in the mix. I didn't want to make this video initially because I wanted to give the game some time to develop and I wanted to see what other maps would play like. And since we got Crash in the game, it has come to my attention that this game is not going to change. The meta of this game is not going to change and I could see that from, you know, the first couple weeks, but after playing Crash, for about two days straight, this game is not going to change. And the meta of this game is not going to change. And I wish it would. I don't want this to come off like in a in a negative and demanding form. But it, it's gonna come off that way. And I, I don't I don't want that to happen, but it, that's how it's gonna go. So why is Modern Warfare so campy and why is why is the game so slow and like as far as not the I guess yeah the gameplay and uh, about how people play the honest to god truth is that that's the way that the game was designed the devs designed the game to be this way that that kind of sucks for those of us who really like to move around the map and things like that you know when I got invited to Los Angeles in the summer to play Modern Warfare early when I played these maps the the original maps like uh Azir Cave or you know Azir Camps as I like to call it <laughs> um we played Hackney Yard and Gun Runner. I think that's the, I think that's the map name. Can't remember. Um, Gun Runner was the best map out of all of them, and I liked Hackney Yard a lot because you know it had some height variety and it was three lanes, but you know that you could go on buildings and stuff like that, and it wasn't too campy. Azir Cave wasn't bad either when we played, and after I made my review on the game or whatever and I got people's opinions and I saw you guys in the comments I started realizing that this game is probably going to become campy and I realized it as people were kind of like saying oh the maps seem like really diverse and things like that so there's a couple reasons why I think that Modern Warfare is like super campy number one that's the way that the game was designed number two the, the player base just doesn't want to move uh, number three is the map design because the map design is catered to safe spaces and the noobs and it's not catered to the entire player base it's dedicated to one specific player base and then you have those people who are sitting in their safe spaces and they're just you know chilling waiting for someone to walk by and they just hear out of their ear that tyrannosaurus rex or that mastodon or that triceratops that's walking outside and they're like, oh, someone's close. And then, you know, the Mastodon walks inside and obviously it's a person because the footsteps are so loud. They've been working on the footsteps, which is good. That's a good thing. They've been working on the footsteps. But I, 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 why, why is this game so campy? It's one big picture to me. And I've, I thought about this. I was driving home from school today and it dawned on me. There are a lot of mechanics in this game that are catered to a mode that's not in this game yet. And it's rumored to come in this game. Let me clear the air, and I'm gonna say that I really don't know if this is gonna happen. There have been rumors on the internet and everywhere online about a battle royale coming into this game. You guys are gonna see where I'm going with this. I don't want people to think I'm like taking a cheap shot at uh, Infinity War, I just dropped just because. I'm gonna go with this theory. This is like, a this is turned into a theory video. So my theory is that there is going to be a battle royale game that comes out in I'd say February, maybe January. I don't really know. I'm like kind of shooting the shit right now. If you ever, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> there's a lot of battle royale mechanics in the multiplayer, and that's good for some things, like the stem shot. The stem shot's really cool in multiplayer. I like the stem shot in multiplayer. I think that's great. That being said, why is there a stem shot in this game at all? You guys, like, I don't think anyone's, like, ever questioned that. Or if they have, like, it's, like, been, like, really minor and it kind of just, like, gets skipped over. So, there's a stem shot in this game. You can open doors and close doors in this game. That's two things that are just Battle Royale related already. They were in Blackout. They're in H1Z1. They're in Fortnite. Even though, like, stem shot's not in Fortnite. But, like, you know, potions, stem shot, same thing. Or, like, 
health bandages, whatever. So like the way that the buildings are designed, the the way that the buildings are designed, it's like it's a battle royale because. All the buildings have tons of stuff in them. You can hide in them. You can open and close the doors in them. Uh, for a perfect example of this, and I'm gonna show this on the screen. A perfect example of this is Crash. When you look at Crash, right? This map is probably one of the best maps in Call of Duty 4, for sure. What do you notice different about this map? What do you notice? What do you notice? What do you notice? Any door that was open or wasn't there in the beginning is now closed. Every single door. And new doors can be opened and closed. And I think this is a really cool idea to open up the map. I do. I think it's a cool idea on paper. And honestly, this part of the map isn't even that bad. It's not really that campy because it actually offers this spawn a line of sight to go head to head with this person that's sitting right here. So honestly, this is an improvement from the map. However, what's not an improvement is the fact that you can open and close the doors. Now, that's not like a huge deal in this spot because you can just throw a C4 over top and it kills somebody. And obviously, like I just said, having a gunfight with someone who's sitting right here is easier from right here than it is from uh, walking out of this door and then immediately getting shot. But when it comes to every single building, having a door that you can open or close, like right here, there's no reason for this to be here. There's no reason for it. And thankfully they didn't have this as an open or closed door. Thankfully, this is not an open or closed door, but there's one right here. I'm oh, sorry, the gold camera's in the way. There's one right here. Why? It's the little things that make the difference in the map. Everyone already knew that Crash was going to be a little bit campier because there's three-story buildings. And obviously you can go in these buildings and kind of sit in corners and things like that. But let's go in this building real quick. Let's go in third story. You can open this door. Someone can camp right there. Someone can camp right there. Obviously people have always camped right here. Dudley's 3D, get the tables. We but then this door is closed. But I said to somebody earlier in the year when we played this game initially, uh, back in like August, I said, yo, so like we, we can sit in corners and stuff. And someone can literally open a small room, open the door, and then close the door. Don't be surprised if Terminal gets brought into this game. And then in one of the doors in Terminal gets to be open and it's like a closet and you can go in it and just hide in there. Don't be surprised. It's unnecessary and it doesn't work in Call of Duty. Not to mention it makes sound whoring easier. It just seems a little bit too ironic and a little bit too coincidental that everything is kind of built for a BR, okay? The gunsmith. The gunsmith is the best thing that's ever happened in like gun customization for Call of Duty. But do you notice how many different attachments there are? How many different attachments are there? There's like 60 attachments for every gun. Why? I'm not complaining. I love that for multiplayer. It's because of the BR that's probably coming. And you know, you could make that argument that, oh, well they have so many attachments and so many sites and things like that because ground war is like 32 v 32. And yeah, like I can see your point and I, I can agree with that for the most part. But what about opening and closing the doors? What about the stem shot? Like what about mounting? Things like that. Those three things, those three or four things in particular, in addition to the ground war maps being huge and being almost like a simulation for when the BR comes into the game is just, it all adds up. I know it sounds like a tinfoil hat, like theory or whatever, but it just makes sense to me. I don't like, let me know if it makes sense to you down in the comments. Uh, this is why I think the game is so campy. I, I truly think that there's just so many things in this game that point to a BR happening. We can open and close the doors. Can, you can use stem shot to regen your health. There's gonna be certain mechanics that you can do and you're gonna be able to mount like in ghosts, but it's gonna be better. It's gonna be more efficient in this game. And we're gonna kind of build the multiplayer around the BR. So when the BR comes out, everyone's already used to the game mechanics that is in multiplayer because it's gonna play very similar. You see the problem? I don't know what solutions I could give to make sure that, to make sure like the camping doesn't continue because that's the way the game was designed. That's why we have camo challenges that 
have you mount to get a camo. And then the games also can't be because of the minimap. And that's pretty much like self-explanatory. The minimap. Go back to the classic minimap. But that's not, it's not gonna happen. So I'm wasting my breath if I say something like that, you know? I don't know. Let, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I, this is I know this is a diff different video. I guess my feedback and my solution, if I was to give one, would be close 25, 20% of the windows, remove the opening and closing doors mechanic. It's not gonna happen, but that's my that's my solution. Listen to the, to the community. I like I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Like I. I'm, I'm like kind of stuck on like what to say about it. Like Vacant and Shipment will probably play very well in this game, but they're still gonna be campy and they're still gonna have certain things that make the gameplay a campy safe space type of game because that's how they designed this game. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, if you guys want me to do a video on um, season one and like my thoughts on it, let me know down in the comments. I, I'll, I'll do one. I put a video out on the Halo channel yesterday so make sure you guys go watch that because it's been a while. It's been like three months since I uploaded to the Halo channel. And I feel like a lot of people don't know I have a Halo channel. So go sub to that. It's down in the description below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.